Hey guys and welcome to a brand new Minecraft PSP update video. In this video we're going to be discussing changes made in version 20w11c. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So a lot of what happened in version 20w11c was fixing some of the bugs with the physics engine and stuff like that, so you shouldn't be able to look through blocks anymore by standing right next to them, which is a beneficial feature obviously, anti-x-ray and things like that. So I now fixed some of the issues with jumping and moving upwards, which uh, would cause you to basically smash your head through a block, which made absolutely no sense, so therefore it was removed from the game. Um, furthermore, we also did changes to stop you from placing blocks with inside of yourself, which could cause glitches and cause you to rocket off to who knows where, uh, due to basically completely invalid uh, locations. Furthermore, this change also saw us do some things with the physics engine that also has uh, helped out with survival mode and things like that. So currently in creative mode you can basically disable your flying by hitting left and right at the same time, which will cause you to drop down using the gravity to the earth. This is also true in survival mode where you don't have any sort of flying mode whatsoever. Given that we now have gravity and the ability to walk around, we also have jumping, and jumping allows you to basically move around as you would like in this world, and it's actually a very convenient feature. Now, due to the fact that jumping is in the game, you can go ahead and walk around and basically travel throughout the world on foot as you wish, so we have currently have walking mechanics and things like that. I also fixed a bug that would cause you basically to stick to whatever surface that you hit. So if you were colliding partially with a uh, block on your right side, you would basically completely just like slow down to a crawl, which was not really realistic and is not very practical. So now you're instead going to basically be able to move around as you wish, and it will not stop you from basically moving in the other directions. This is also true with the gravity and things like that, and it doesn't make you like stop moving once you're basically accelerating downwards into the ground. The force of gravity is roughly equivalent to that of Minecraft alongside terminal velocity and a bunch of other things, which now are basically exactly the same as Minecraft. I also buffed sprinting uh, to a level above Minecraft because it's simply just not fast enough, and it's just something a little strange with the way that the physics engine is working. Furthermore, I also buffed your movement speed, or uh, your looking speed, which allows you to basically turn around and things like that a lot faster than before, which is kind of useful for basically maneuvering the world, breaking and placing blocks. Block collision isn't necessarily always 100% accurate, but it should be, for the most part, completely accurate for what you actually need to be able to do in the game. So in version 0.5 pre-release 1, the last thing that we really need to do before pre-release 1 is uh, basically released is we're going to upgrade the input system and make it so that you can use your own controls and things like that and basically be able to change your controls in the world. We'll also be fixing bugs and things like that as well in order for the game to be in a little bit better state. So the input system is now going to allow you to configure your own inputs. Basically, you can press uh, whatever button and assign it to a button or a button uh, combination, potentially in the future. Uh, we can also be starting to do things like double tap forwards, double tap uh, space, things like that. Uh, that would also be a possible feature to add as well. This input system is going to basically mirror Star Descendants uh, input system and they're both going to use a JSON file format in order to basically be able to store the way that your controls are going to be made. This way now, however you want to play the game, you can play the game in that way. It's also going to be sort of an asynchronous system where you can create handlers for each uh, sort of action that you define and that way you can actually have actions that respond to specific sort of uh, commands that you do with your buttons. That way it's a lot more flexible and it allows us to do a lot more things much simpler. So thank you guys for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with an actually really interesting video that we're going to have, and that's basically going to be an announcement of a developer conference that we're going to be having uh, basically on March 28th.